everyone and welcome to today's German Hospital Recap. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our videos or recaps. Look at the cute little baby. Uh, I apologize in advance for that sun back there and if this tilts because Star is here trying to cause all the problems. Right, little e-cat? They're 11 months old. They just turned 11 months old yesterday. So they're going to be one in a month, which means my convention's in a month. But let's just deal with today's General Hospital Recap because I've wasted way too much time right now. Um, at Kelly's. So really exciting day on German Hospital. Lots of fights and scuffles and my hair looks horrible, but we're going to move past that. Um, so anyway. Elizabeth and Jake are about to have breakfast, and Elizabeth is reading the paper with the headline saying how Nicholas is the head of ELQ now, and Jake and El Jake asks Elizabeth if she knew anything about Nicholas trying to steal ELQ. I'm trying to block the sun out over there. Um, and Jake tells Elizabeth uh, whether Nicholas is her friend or not. He's not going to get away with taking ELQ from the quarter mains. So then Nicholas comes over and sits at their table, very presumptuous and very rude, if I may say so. And Nicholas tries to tell Jake that it's just business, and then Jake points out that it, he used espionage and blackmail, which, in my opinion, makes it personal, and it's no longer about business anymore. And Nicholas asks Jake to stay on board at ELQ, which really thoroughly confuses Jake. So then Nicholas is trying to explain why he would want Jake to stay, and he mentions how he paid Jake's hospital bills, which really elicits a reaction from him. And he's like, oh, so now I owe you, that was your plan, and like really goes at him. And I'm like, yeah, like he, he was full on Jason today. So then Nicholas offers Jake a compensation compensation package and tells Jake he doesn't have to make a decision right away, but the sooner the better. And Jake says, I don't need time to make a decision. The answer's no. And meanwhile, Elizabeth is trying to, like, calm and referee in the middle, like, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. I, like, I can't. So Jake says he's going to get a different job, and he's going to pay back the hospital bills. And Nicholas is like, it's a gift. And... It, Jake's like, no, you had an agenda the whole time, and again, Elizabeth just in the background, like, oh, no, like, touching the arms, like, eh, uh, so, um, where was I? So, yeah, I can't even explain her right now, it was really just like, you had to see it. So then Jake tears into Nicholas and says that his only goal is to... Be is going to be taking Nicholas down and Elizabeth's trying to stop him and Jake has Michael's back. Yep. Elizabeth tries to... S I don't know what I wrote, but that's basically... I, today's a mess, but it's okay because it's a Tuesday. So Jake literally throws the offer back in Nicholas's face and tells him that he needs to get away from him and Elizabeth can just see the plan crumbling. The whole, Jake will stay at ELQ and I'll stay far away from Michael and Sam and you won't have to deal with just crumbling before her eyes, which just makes me so much happier uh, than I was like an hour ago. So then Jake wants to go for a drive with Elizabeth and Elizabeth is like, I think you need time to yourself. Let me go talk to Nicholas. He's my friend. And Jake's like, don't apologize for me. And she's like, I'm not, I'm not. So then Elizabeth hurriedly talks to Nicholas after Jake leaves. And Nicholas says that if Jake really wanted to take the company or take Nicholas down, then he would have accepted the job and worked from the inside. And Elizabeth comes to the conclusion that maybe this is all for the best because now he won't be in the sphere of Michael and Sam and you know he would be more likely to remember who he was if he stayed around Michael and Sam so I'm like Elizabeth do you really think his relationship with Michael is going to end just because he doesn't work with him anymore like really really see she doesn't she has to lick her foot because she's so so disgusted so <laughs> by Elizabeth so the corner mains Denise shows up at the corner main house and Denise and Tracy have a short conversation, and then Denise asks Tracy where Michael is, and Tracy's like, I don't know, he didn't sleep here last night. So then Tracy asks, oh no, Nicola, no, who am I talking about? Denise asks Tracy where the baby is, and that if Michael and the nanny aren't there, then like, who's watching the, like, where's the baby? And Tracy's like, I'm nobody's keeper, I don't know where anyone is, and like, tries to throw her out, but Denise isn't having it. So Denise says she left a message for Michael, and that, sh that she would be here to visit, so Michael knows she's coming. And I'm like, it doesn't count as confirmation if the person never called you back to say, okay, I got your message, we're good. So then Sabrina and Michael arrive, they were at Sabrina's house as we all know, at the corner main house and Denise confronts them and Michael tells Denise that they, that 
her seeing Avery won't be possible because uh, he gave Avery back to her father, so she has to take it up with Sonny. It's all in his hands now. So then after Denise leaves, Sabrina's just kind of in the other room or whatever, Jake arrives at the Quartermain residence to talk to Michael. Residence, so fancy. So then Jake wants to bring down ELQ and tells Michael that as far as he's concerned, he's still on the clock. He took a job with Michael, and he wants to see it through. And I'm like, yes! Yes! Because the more Jake is with Michael, the more he's going to realize he's Jason, and Michael's going to realize it, and it's all going to be so beautiful. I can't wait. Please let it happen in November. I'll be your best friend, General Hospital, because you've had us going along for like a year now, and it's very painful. So, at Sonny's, Dante comes to visit, and Dante tells Sonny that Lulu is having an affair with Dylan Quartermain, because Dante doesn't like to jump to conclusions and start rumors. So Sonny tries to talk to Dante and tell him that it's absurd that Lulu would have an affair, because she loves Dante so much, and Dante's telling him what's going on with the following her, and the Dylan in the towel, and this, that, and the other thing. So Dante tells Sonny that he kissed Valerie, and Sonny asks how far it went, and Dante says that Valerie stopped it. So then he tells Sonny that he has a ticket for the next flight to Vancouver and he wants to know if Sonny can watch Rocco. So Denise, then after Dante leaves, Denise arrives at Sonny's house. Dun dun dun. Lulu and Dylan, speaking of. So they talk about the script some more. He made some revisions. Da 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 da. I feel like this is going to be a thing in the future. So I want to like talk about it a little bit. So then Lulu is still torn apart about lying to Dante. So she unloads a little on Dylan. So let's go to another hotel, hotel room with Luke, Holly, and Laura. Yeah, Luke, Holly, and Laura. Uh, where they are sleeping on the mattress very uncomfortably. So Holly says she has some information about the kidnappers, but it's more just a conclusion she drew that whoever is doing this is after Luke because he's the common denominator, and, like, I thought everybody already figured that out already because I had. So then Laura tells Holly that when she met Ethan, he seemed like he could handle himself. Oh, Luke had left the room at this point. And Holly thanks her for her kind words and, um about Ethan, and then they have a bit of a tense conversation about the circumstances under which Ethan was conceived. So then they talk about the past. Holly reveals that she didn't know that Luke was married at the time as she was had her um, weekend with him. And, you know, she didn't know he was married and already had a child, so when she realized she was pregnant, like, she didn't think Luke could handle being a father, so that's why she never told him. Um, so then Holly apologizes for any pain it may have caused Laura. So then Holly and Laura talk about Luke's childhood and everything that happened, and they wonder what it would have been like if Bill had uh, been less loyal to Luke and told the authorities about how Luke's father died, and then they realized that they wouldn't have either of their sons, and they don't know where they would be doing right now, and life would probably be a little bit more bar a lot more boring. So then Luke goes to Lulu and Dylan's room and tells her that Ethan is missing too. So then Lauren and Holly get a... F Laura, not Lauren, why did I ever... Stupid autocorrect, Laura and Holly get a phone call from the kidnappers and the kidnappers tell them to open the door, that they left something outside for them, and E-Cat. So there's a manila envelope outside for them and it has a picture of Lucky and Ethan strapped to a chair or strapped, strapped to... Ti Strapped to chairs and duct taped. I can't talk. So then Lulu and Dylan go to the other hotel room so they can all look at the picture or whatever. And apparently Dante is already in Vancouver, British Columbia, wherever they are, somewhere in Canada. And he's knocking on the hotel room door because apparently even if it's a flight, it's only like a 10 minute flight from like the Rochester area to Vancouver. Anyway, uh, again, the wormhole theory when it comes to General Hospital. So Dante's in the room, and he sees Lulu's clothes on the bed, and he's visibly upset, and he makes his way to... I, ho I hope he makes his way to the other hotel room, because at this point, it's detrimental to have him just lurking around, not knowing what's going on, because it presents a whole different set of dangers for Ethan and Lucky. Whew. <laughs> that is it for today's General Hospital recap. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It would mean a lot. And also, if you could check out the link, I am running an Indiegogo right now to save an animal sanctuary. And if you could check out the link, it would mean so, so much to me. And if you can't donate, uh, please share it. But even a $1 donation could help so much. It would mean so much to me. I will see you tomorrow for more General Hospital. I hope you have a great day. Bye.